Welcome. The topic of this lesson is whole numbers in standard form. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's see our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Group and write large numbers properly. 2. Write large numbers in digits and words. 3. Write numbers in standard form, and vice versa. Let us now proceed. The place value of a digit, is the position it occupies in a set of numbers. The image on the board, shows the place values of these numbers. 9, in 100 millions. 8, in 10 millions. 7, in millions. 6, in 100 thousands. 5, in 10 thousands. 4, in thousands. 3, in hundreds. 2, in tens. And 1, in ones. Now, let us learn how to group, and write large numbers. Large numbers can be written, in such a way, they can be read accurately. This can be achieved, by grouping the digits and threes. Counting from the right to the left, as shown on the board. For example, let us group and write the following numbers in words. A. 56123340 B. 10082183 Solution A. First, we group the digits and threes, starting from the right, as shown on the board. Now, let's read the numbers in words. 5612340 B. Arrange the digits and threes. Now, let's read. 100,821,836. That's brilliant. Now, pause this video, group the numbers on the board, and write them in words, in your notebook. Sometimes, large numbers are written, as a combination of digits, and words. For example, the following large numbers, are written, in both digits and words, and can be pronounced as 30.6 million, 6 billion, and 18.5 million. Also, 2.5 million and 14.3 billion, can be written in numbers as shown on the board. Next, let us learn how to write numbers in standard form. Numbers, such as 1000, can be expressed as powers of 10. For example, 1000 equals 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 10 power 3. Numbers can also be expressed as a product of two terms, one of which is a product of 10. For example, 20,000 equals 2 times 10,000 which equals 2 times 10 power 4. Now, to write a number in standard form, we simply do the following. 1. Put a decimal point at the end of the last digit and move it to the right of the first non-zero digit. 2. Count the number of places you move the decimal point. 3. Write the powers of 10 using the number of decimal places you moved. Let us now see an example. Example 2. Write 213 million, in standard form. Solution. Step 1. Put a decimal point, on the last digit, and move it to the right of the first non-zero digit. Step 2. Count the number of places you move the decimal point. The decimal point is moved 8 places to the left. Step 3. Write the power of 10, using the number of decimal places you moved. Therefore, 213 million equals 2.13 times 10 raised to the power 8. That's awesome! Now, pause this video, and convert the following numbers to standard form, in your notebook. 5,612,000 
Finally, we can convert numbers in standard form, back to ordinary numbers. We do this by simply multiplying the number, by its powers of 10. Example 3. Convert these numbers in standard form, to ordinary numbers. Solution. 1. 5.345, is multiplied by 10 power 4. And 10 power 4 equals, 10,000. Therefore, 5.345, times 10,000, equals, 53,450. 2. 7.6, is multiplied by 10 power 3, and 10 power 3, equals, 1,000. Therefore, 7.6, times 1,000, equals, 7,600. That's very good. Let us now summarize. In summary, we have been able to learn the following in this lesson. 1. How to group and write numbers properly. 2. How to write numbers in digits and words and 3. How to write numbers in standard form and vice versa. I hope you enjoyed the class. See you in the next lesson. Thanks and goodbye.